Jazzcast Pros. It is me, your host, Kelly Marie, host of Living the Front Seat Life podcast, and welcome to the first podcast of 2022. You know, one of the reasons why I started the podcast was to talk about mental health, my mental health journey, to help you figure out how to take better care of yourself, how to build your mental health, how to increase your mental health, uh, regardless of where you are, right? Like you don't have to have a diagnosis or maybe you do have a diagnosis. Regardless of where you are on the, the mental health spectrum, this podcast was designed and set up to give you tips and tools to help you adjust, help you to make some better choices and decisions as they pertain to you. I wanted to just take some time and share with you where I'm at, right? We're all different and no one, even when faced with the same question or same challenge, will meet it in the same way. So understanding that everyone is different, you are going to make a different decision than I, or hey, maybe we make the same decision, but for different reasons. Regardless, we are on this road, on this path together, and this podcast was really designed to meet you where you are and help you get to your next level, whatever that next level may be. Welcome to Living the Front Seat Life. I'm your host, Kelly Marie, and I invite you to take this journey with me. We're going to be talking about all things mental health and emotional well-being. You see, I am a overcomer. If you are interested in figuring out the path for you to determine how and where you will drive your future, this is the place to be. We get to determine the ride. We may not get to determine the weather or who's on the road with us or if it's going to be a scenic route or not, but we are the drivers. So join me on this ride, living the front seat life. Yes, it's me, Kelly Marie, and as always, I'm happy to talk to you, happy to be here with you and share this experience with you. It's the new year. It is 2022. I am in a place, and uh, I'll talk about that a little bit later, but I just want to say happy new year to you. I hope that you are well. I hope that you are enjoying this time and this space. And I hope that you're surrounded by loved ones. Hopefully, I will remember that it is 2022 and not 2021. I don't know about you, but I always go probably about two months of writing the old year on everything um, until it finally clicks. And it's usually, yeah, probably about March that I, I finally get it right. My hope is that this year I am present and aware and in the moment And remember and realize that we are in the year 2022. Today, I thought it was important to come and share with you where I am. It's a little difficult to share right now. And and difficult because I'm in a place. So, as you know, I have borderline personality disorder or I live with borderline personality disorder as well as depression and anxiety. And right now my feelings are really fragile. And I didn't know if I would be able to record today because I've been really weepy for good reason to me, you know, but it's still not a reason to cry all day. When one has a condition such as mine, these things happen. And so I was talking to Jazz, Jazz Jazzcast podcasting producer, She's the best. You know, she encouraged me to go ahead and record and share where I'm at. And not that I try and, you know, put the best foot forward and fake the funk and pretend like everything is okay. That's definitely not me. But I didn't want to, because I am so weepy today, go back and forth, you know, vacillating between crying and, you know, 
things being all right because things really are okay. Um, I'm at a good place right now. I just had a little emotional hiccup and, you know, maybe your mentally healthy individual would process it, maybe cry a little bit and keep it moving. It doesn't really work that way for me. And that's okay, right? I know me. I know how I react to situations. I know how to make sure that I don't pull other people into my situations. Um, Woo, you don't know, but I just had a whole crying fit. You could probably hear the tears in my voice. Uh, The one side of me is like, there's nothing to cry over. And other me is also saying there's nothing to cry over. Yet the tears remain. And I, I came on and purposely decided to record because I think it's important to see all of the sides of mental health. You know, you get to experience laughter, you know, fun, happy Kelly. You get to experience serious Kelly. Occasionally, you see this side of me. Now I've posted in the past when I've had anxiety attacks and uh, things like that. But I find that often even I, as real as I try to remain, I don't share these moments. And so I need it to record and um, get today's show ready for you. But it also coincided with this place that I'm in. If you've been thinking about starting a podcast and you want to include interviews with people across town, Riverside.fm offers unbelievable high quality recordings, regardless of your or your guest internet quality. And it also gives you separate audio and video tracks for each person speaking. And unlike Zoom, you don't have to install anything on your computer and your guests don't either. Head over to Riverside.fm and use promo code JazzyCast to get 60 free minutes of recording and 15% off a membership plan. While everyone is out celebrating the new year, uh, I am not. I and, and, and listen, I had a beautiful 2021 and I am excited for 2022. It was not a bad year. Did bad things happen? Yes. But it was not a bad year for me. And 2022 is looking just as fabulous as 2021. But at this moment, right now, I'm in a place. And so I don't want to celebrate. I'm not feeling celebratory. I feel like getting in my bed and eating a pound of warm, softly baked chocolate chip cookies or peanut butter chocolate chip cookies, that would be even better. And just, uh, you know, crying the rest of the day away. That is not physically healthy. <laughs> and it's not mentally healthy either. So you're getting real me. You know, I, I always want to give you real me. And today you are also getting real me. So if you caught the a promo video that is what I look like recording with my t-shirt and hat on, puffy eyes probably, I don't know. This is me. This is this is what mental health and Kelly Marie look like together. And so what does that mean for you? I want you to feel perfectly okay with celebrating where you are in your journey. I want you to feel perfectly okay with crying, with laughing, with feeling angst and despair, with feeling joy, experiencing challenges and triumphs, wherever you are on your journey, that's where you are. And it's okay because that's a part of the story. That's a part of the journey. So whether you are out there celebrating the new year or not, it's okay. Just so long as you know that this is only a small part of the whole story. Let me just say, I have to commend you for making it through all you've been through. You know, we don't often hear or receive recognition for the hard work it takes just to to make it through each day. So I'm giving you a high five from my living room slash recording studio (laughs) because I want you to know that I recognize the work that you've done. I recognize 
the fact that you have had some challenging days, some challenging months, and here you stand. Here you are on the precipice of a new year with everything to look forward to. Because each day, yes, it's a gift, but it's also an opportunity to find some joy. So even though today is a very emotionally sensitive day for me, I was still able to find some joy. So of course, I'm going to encourage you to also find some joy. Why? Because it helps to temper the experience, right? I'm I'm having a tough time and And being able to recognize the joy in the day, the joy in friendship and the love that my friends have for me and I have for them and that my family has for me and I have for them is unparalleled. It's unmatched. And I acknowledge that and it helps me through the tough times. Now, everybody doesn't have the same family structure or or friend support that I do. And so your joy may come from someplace else. The joy may be in the sunshine. Your joy may be in taking a walk and finding a a flower growing in the midst of the snow. Your joy may be somewhere else. So wherever you find it, wherever it lives, embrace it. Hold on to it because it's not something that's a given. You have to work for that joy and acknowledge that work. Acknowledge the process. Acknowledge all that you've done to be here, right here, right now, in the year 2022. You have lived a whole life. You have experienced ups and downs. You have been through it, underneath it, over it, on the side of it. You've experienced it all. And here you are. So kudos to you, my friend. Because, listen, living is not for the faint of heart. It takes work. It takes effort. It is not always easy. It is not always happy. It is not always fun. But that's a part of living a front seat life. That is what it means to drive. To know that despite the circumstances, despite the conditions, that you are in control and you get to determine where and how and how fast you go. You are the driver. And I thank you for bringing me along with you on this ride. So as we move into 2022 and we experience all that this year brings, I encourage you to continue to find the joy. I encourage you to continue to be the light and to look for the light. I encourage you to embrace each day. I encourage you to embrace embrace each um, moment of joy, each moment of sorrow, each moment of success each moment of pain because it makes us who we are. It adds to the beautiful story of our lives. And I thank you for continuing to push through. If you are in need of resources, I encourage you to call 211. That is a national 211 um, database for you to be able to access resources in your area. It doesn't matter where you are in the U.S. If you dial 211 on your phone or go to 211 in your browser, it will lead you to the 211 website or the folks that answer the phone. And you can do a keyword search or zip code search for resources in your area. If you are experiencing a crisis and you need someone to talk to, I encourage you to call the Suicide Prevention Helpline. You don't have to be in a place of suicidal ideation to call the helpline. They're there for everyone. And that number is 1-800-273-8255. Or you can text the word GO, G-O, to the number 741-741 to reach a trained crisis counselor on the text line. Both are available. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, free and confidential. So until the next time, be the light, be kind to yourself, find the joy and happiness.